Welcome back to your CompTIA IT Fundamentals training course. In this lesson, we will discuss common units of measure. Storage units measure the capacity of permanent and temporary storage. Two number systems are used in regard to storage units. One we have seen earlier in our lessons, which is the powers of two. And another we will see in this lesson, the powers of ten. A bit is the smallest storage unit. Recalling our previous lesson, a bit is a single zero or one in binary. The plural, bits, refers to the size of internal registers in a processor. An internal register refers to how much information a processor can process at once. A 32-bit processor can process 32 bits per clock cycle and access memory addresses up to 2 to the power of 32 bits or 4 gigabytes. A 64-bit processor, on the other hand, can process 64 bits per clock cycle and can access memory addresses up to 2 to the power of 64 bits or 18 zettabytes. A byte is equal to 8 bits. Bytes are used by all larger units of measure and can represent a single character such as an A, a question mark, or a number from 0 to 255. A kilobyte is 2 to the 10th power or 10 to the 3rd power bytes depending on whether powers of 2 or powers of 10 is used. A megabyte is 2 to the 20th power or 10 to the 6th power bytes. A gigabyte is 2 to the 30th power or 10 to the 9th power bytes. A terabyte is 2 to the 40th power or 10 to the 12th power bytes. A petabyte is 2 to the 50th power or 10 to the 15th power bytes. Throughput is a measure of speed at which data transfer occurs between endpoints. Bits per second is a measure of speed for computer modems and transmission carriers. Larger units of measure are often used for high data speeds. Kilobit per second equals 1000 bits per second. Dial-up modems were rated in kilobit per second based on their maximum download speeds. Megabit per second equals 1000 kilobits per second. Megabit per second is used to measure speeds of high speed and broadband connections amongst others. Gigabit per second equals 1000 megabits per second. Bandwidth on a medium such as fiber optic is one example of where gigabit per second would be used. Terabyte per second equals 1000 gigabits per second. Terabyte per second is used to measure speeds of connections between countries and regions. Processing speed is the measure of cycles a processor can perform in one second. A megahertz equals 1 million cycles per second, whereas a gigahertz equals 1000 megahertz. We will now move on to our review questions. Question 1. Place the storage units in order from smallest to largest. The correct order would be bit, byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, and petabyte. Question 2. A kilobit per second is equal to how many bits per second? The correct answer would be C, 1000. Question 3. A megahertz equals blank million cycles per second, whereas a gigahertz equals blank megahertz. The answer to this question would be a megahertz equals 1 million cycles per second, whereas a gigahertz equals 1000 megahertz. Question 4. What is the correlation between data and information? The answer to this question would be C. 
Information is processed data. As always, please be sure to review previous lessons and concepts. In our next lesson, we will finish off Domain 1.0 with troubleshooting methodology. We are heroes too.